Hi everybody, thank you guys so much for being here today. I'm gonna to be doing a psychic reading on Megan Fox and Machine Gun Kelly. So automatically looking at Megan's photo, oh my God, I've done this video before. If you guys haven't seen it, it's on my YouTube channel. Um, so looking at Megan's photo, God, I'm just getting so much dark energy, so much like vampiric energy. And um, I've mentioned that before in a couple of videos. So when I'm looking at her, I was shocked to hear that these two people broke up and that she was like actually mad and upset and everything like that because I really feel like she has been sucking the life out of Machine Gun Kelly in more ways than one and in ways that he doesn't even comprehend. Um, now looking at this as a psychic and I could read people and their soul forms and past lives and magic they've done and stuff like that. I feel like there's a very strong binding uh, ritual that has been done to these two people. And we know that because we've seen these two exchange blood and shit like that. So <clears throat> there's obviously a lot of energy keeping these two people together. Now, if you ever do a binding and somebody cheats or somebody does some shit like that, it, it, you kind of are put in a really bad predicament, okay? Um, especially because they are both using each other's blood. It's not like she's just binding him to her. It's like he's kind of binded to her as well. So it's not a good predicament to put yourself in. And <clears throat> alongside with them being married, I think they're married, right? There is not only an oath, but there's a binding and um, who knows whatever else they've done. So I'm sure Megan feels like she's in kind of a pickle now that this person's cheating and also, putting a binding on somebody doesn't mean they're not going to cheat on you. Anyway, besides the point, uh, let's get into this reading. So, automatically looking at Machine Gun Kelly, I do feel like his soul is very trapped and it's very outside of his body. Uh, he's definitely somebody we would call like a, a, an astral being, kind of. And I see this a lot with people in Hollywood where their soul is kind of like outside of their body. Um, their soul has kind of left their body or it's trapped in a certain corner of their body, whereas his, his soul is definitely trapped in a very dark place. I'm not going to go into further details about it, but his soul is definitely trapped. Whereas Megan, I mean, she has a past life as a vampire. She, it's, it's very different, okay? So anyway, I'm going to finish this reading up in part two. So I want to also mention that I feel like 50% of this is for publicity. Like, I could see that Megan is upset, but I do feel like they've actually kind of reconciled um, at the time of this reading, which is 9.17 Eastern Standard Time in New York City. Um, so I feel like they've actually kind of gotten through some of their issues already. Uh, I do see that they're still together. I don't necessarily feel like right now they're on bad terms, but maybe a few days ago they were um i do feel like them actually are they actually are like very close and they're not gonna proceed with breaking up at this moment um i do feel like it is kind of rocky however i feel like they have been in contact and they are like talking it out and there's still a lot of love between these two people there whatever that means for these people <laughs> Okay, so I'm trying to see what happened here. I feel like Megan may have caught him making a mistake of some sort. I don't want to flat out say that he was cheating because even if he was, I don't feel like his heart is like to any other woman. Um, I mean, obviously it could have been like a one night stand type of thing, but I don't feel like he's interested or talking to any other woman other than Megan. Like, I, I feel like there's a really close bond and, like, a lot of passion between these two people. Um, I'm asking my guides if they can tell me what happened here. They're saying that, that Machine Gun Kelly was on drugs. I feel like he's always on drugs, though. Um, now, it's always hard to read people when they're on drugs and what they do because even their vision is distorted and I kind of need their vision and their memories to read into what happened. So it always sucks. Like when I do readings on people 
and if they were cheating and they were like drunk or they were like under the influence and I can only see their memories and what's going on in their head now for him I'm hearing it was just a really drunken blur however I do feel like they are getting past it right now um Megan is kind of unsure as to what to do uh she's unsure of what to do next I also am hearing that there was there there's been abuse in Megan's life from her ex-husband I'm seeing that he may have actually beat her her ex-husband Austin Green I think his name is I'm getting a lot of like physical abuse domestic violence um from a previous relationship Again, they're not showing me if this has anything to do with Machine Gun Kelly. They're just saying in, a, in her previous relationships, there was a pattern of domestic abuse here. I am seeing reconciliation is going to happen between these two people. I'm seeing that they are going to have more sporadic fights, meaning like they're going to be together one day and then she's going to be very dramatic and make a big scene the next about how they're not together and how they're not on good terms. So I am seeing like kind of on and off again, spiral that is going to proceed um after these coming weeks my guides are saying that okay they're just like emphasizing on prior domestic abuse there may be some domestic abuse in her relationship with machine gun kelly as well i feel like he may have um like grabbed her or something again i feel like this only happens when he's under the influence i feel like a lot of their issues are caused by him being on drugs too uh because his memory gets very distorted as well and it's kind of like he's just not all there like he's not the same person and i do feel like there is a severe drug addiction like i feel like every day he's on hard drugs or or something like it's not just a once in a while thing he's actually like addicted um this is also having Megan second think about where the relationship is going, but I do feel like she's accepted and kind of put up with him and his behavior for a long time. She is going to realize that she can't necessarily make him a better person or save him because he is going down like a really bad spiraling path of drug addiction. I do see him actually going to rehab within the next two years. I'm hearing 2024. We may see him go away for a few, like, six to nine months to rehab. Um, by that time, I feel like Megan's going to be have long broken up with him and, like, actually, like, want him to get better as a friend. But I don't feel like they're going to be as, they're not going to be romantically linked by the time that he gets bad enough to need to go to rehab. Okay? All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you could see as well that he is a major drug addict. And um, yeah, let me know who you guys want me to read next. All right, bye.